President Obama announced today he will drastically scale back his agenda for America after a visit to a Denny's restaurant in Manassas, Virginia, caused him to, quote, completely reconsider what our nation is capable of achieving. In a press conference this afternoon, the president said, quote, what I saw at Denny's made me realize how much I have overestimated the American people. Before we reclaim global leadership, we must first stop eating six sausages and a pound of eggs covered in syrup for breakfast, and we must stop leaving the house in sweatpants. For more, let's go to Onion News Network Washington correspondent Jane Carmichael, who is traveling with the president this morning. Thanks, Andrea. The president stopped by the Denny's for breakfast en route to a speaking engagement and spent about 35 minutes inside. When he came out, he looked visibly shaken. I spoke to several Denny's customers and employees who witnessed the president's visit. Well, I told him I had no job, and he asked where I've been looking for one. And I was like, what do I want to work for? He said something to me about some colleges, something for my kids. But I can barely hear him with this little bitch cry his head off. They microwaved his food until it was hot all the way through because, you know, he's the president. Several people noted that Obama looked, quote, real uneasy throughout much of the meal, particularly when he saw a drunk man who was sleeping in a nearby booth sit up and vomit on his chocolate chip pancakes and immediately go back to sleep. Thanks, Jane. And we have White House Deputy Press Secretary Todd Grant joining us right now. Mr. Grant, give us a sense of how big these post-Denny's policy changes will be. Well, Andrea, the president was deeply unsettled by his experience at Denny's, so it's safe to say the changes will be sweeping. Uh, they're all laid out in his new Realistic Hope for America plan. Right, I can and it see basically that. replaces the president's previous agenda with goals he now thinks are more within the grasp of the American public, mm -hmm. such as not slapping your children in public, not calling your waitress a cunt, and not smoking while eating your moons over my hammy. Now, uh, surely he's going to face strong criticism for abandoning his previous plans, for example, on the environment. Andrea, I was with the president when he went inside the Denny's. Uh, those plans were never going to happen. Really? But the president hasn't abandoned his principles. Uh, it's true that he's no longer calling for one million hybrid cars by 2015. Right, I can uh, see but that. But he is calling on Americans to think about walking to the liquor store down the block instead of driving. Huh. We believe America can do it. Right. And we're also encouraging Americans to quit meth and stop getting Tweety Bird tattoos. So big picture, Mr. Grant, what does this mean for the long-term goals of the Obama presidency? Well, it's certainly not to make America a world leader in anything anymore. Interesting. Uh, but we hope to inspire all of America to band together and make, uh, make our nation a little bit less of an embarrassing, disgusting shithole. Okay, well, that makes sense. Mr. Grant, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Andrea. Moving on, a study shows that by 2025, American children will be too obese to ride hoverboards.